Hi guys, good to have you all back. It is Monday. Gunter is on my desk. Two more episodes to go. So let's get back into crafting. In case you just joined us, I'm doing a big project. It's called Gunter's Falfall Experiment. <laughs> it's a hybrid sort of attaché briefcase uh, lab book folio flippy thingy. But it's amazing. There's a playlist, guys. This is episode seven. Seven? Yes, seven. There'll be one more after this one. So if you have not seen any of them, please go watch the first one. Yeah, and then join us. Um for part seven so we did this last friday the big sort of envelope thingy love it um and now we are at the last sort of big piece already guys the stressed edges i taped the brad put an arrow up so this is what we're doing today i want to do a sort of a big collage on here and have a belly band in the middle with flippy flappies yeah, I think I think it's going to be great. Uh, let me show you the supplies that I think I want to use for today. For the supplies, let me start with the papers. I have a couple of pieces that I cut from the file folder. I have a big piece. Yeah, this is going to be the belly band. And I have still have a couple of these. I'm going to use two. So the belly band and these are going to be sort of flippy flappy thingies. Yeah. And then for decorating, I want to do the big collage made from envelopes. I have a, a gazillion envelope, and I really mean a gazillion. Lovely vintage ones. I even have some anti antique ones, but I'm using vintage ones, like from the, from the 50s, 60s, 70s. Yeah, so beautiful envelopes. Uh, isn't that fantastic? I think I want to uh, use this. And an Erma envelope. Uh, and some bits and bobs. I have a piece of ledger. That I think is very interesting. That I want to use. I have some Tim Holtz backdrop um, papers. This is volume one. I have some scraps. And I want to do something with scraps. And I've have I have two pictures. Don't uh, These are found relatives. Or lost relatives. Something with relatives. And then this is either photo booth or photomatic. I don't know, guys. I have a gazillion of these. Um, and I want to use this picture. Who does he look like? Yes, you tell me. And uh, this picture. I want to do something with the pictures. Now, for, for the normal tools. Well, you know, the normal tools. Ruler, knife, scissor, glue, corner rounder. I will be using some brads, some small brads. I'm also using... Um, this die cut, the sort of spe the slides, uh, specimen slides die cut, yeah, from Mr. Holtz, it's collect uh, chapter three, yeah, this one. Um, yeah, I am really going to use my big whale tail tap punch. Somebody in the comments uh, told me, Are you going to call it Moby Dick? Yes, I am. That's a brilliant idea, Moby Dick, Moby Dick. And uh, what we want to call the, the smaller one, flipper. <laughs> Moby Dick. Um, I think I want to use some tape, some washi tape. I have some Tim Holtz. This is salvaged. And I'm going to use bits and bobs, uh, which, uh, by which I mean post-it stamps, labels, small stuff. Uh, and probably do some stamping. Yeah, do some stamping, some distressing, some inking. Yeah, is that it? I think that's it. Um, unless I come up with another idea midway. Oh, yes, these. These, guys. I got these in Happy Mail from the lovely Barbara by Bar Paper Store. A uh, lover. Well, she also has a paper store. That's because I just bought something there. <laughs> by Bar Paper Lover. She she made these for me. Aren't they these fantastic? These are actually sort of these metal bits. I also have, like, a blank one. She put them to um, a folder. What's them called? Yes, embossing folder. These you have in a sort of a binder, yeah? Uh, where you sort of put the things to and then you flap them over for binders. Fant brilliant ideas. Uh, I had some left. Well, I have a couple of them and I think I want to use some. So I'm going to use this. What else? I don't know, guys. Let's find out. Uh, I'm going to start with the background collage. Guys, I have a lot of ground to cover today, so I did some prepping. Yes, I did lots of prepping. So I did all the distressing all around. Already picked out 
uh, the envelopes that I want to play with. Now, this is going to be very tricky to glue on because on the other side, everything is sort of raised. Yeah, so yeah, that's going to be tough, uh, but we'll manage, we'll manage. So here's my plan. I'm going to make a lovely collage, sort of with all the envelopes, just bigger pieces, just bigger pieces here and there, and already figured out what I'm going to have where. And then um, decorate the flap for the belly band. That's going to be in the center. Yeah, a bit lovely decorating with most likely this fantastic envelope. And then I'm going to use these two, yeah? These have the ridges in them. Fold them in and make them into flippy flappies. Flippy flappies. And what are, where are the metal bits? Yes, just add the metal bits um, on the top with brads, like so. I think it's going to be fun. Fun, fun, fun. So I'm going to start with um, the envelopes. Now, these are envelopes. What you can do is just glue the whole thing on or because I also love the back. Or I'm going to sort of try to remove the front from the back. And I think that's what I'm going to do with most of them. I'm just going to show you on one how I am going to go about it. Just in case you want to join in. Now, there's nothing really special on the back of this one. Actually, it's a very plain envelope. But let's pretend it's this one. Or just take out this one. Take out this one. Where's the opening? Hello, opening. It's... Never, it's not opened anywhere. Is it? No, it's absolutely closed. In that case, I'm going to do it like so. I just want to remove the front from the back. Because there's no opening in here. Yep, I'm just going to take a sliver off all four sides, guys. There you go. Did it open up? Oh, it's glued. Well, you can do what you want to, but I cannot take this off. Well, then it's going on like so. Now, let me show you how this would work on a normal envelope. Yeah, just put your knife in and then you just carefully as flat as you can against the table, guys. This is how I normally do it. And the last piece, because you might want to use the inside if it has a lovely inside. Or uh, maybe there's something pretty on the back, because sometimes there's something pretty on the back. Like with this one. But too bad, I need to glue it down. Okay, I'm going to do that with all my envelopes, and then I'm going to make um, sort of an arrangement. Here are all my envelopes. I Most of them I took the backs off and I did a little bit of inking all around them just to sort of grunge them up a little bit. Okay, I'm going to keep in mind that, that, that there's going to be like a big belly band in the middle. So do not put any interesting stuff in the middle. Yeah, so this is interesting. For sure. Yes. How about first day cover? So it's going to be big collage. And with that, I mean big pieces. Big, big pieces. Yeah. Something on its side because otherwise we would cover the whole thing. Am I a frame? Let me see. There we go. And um, I really love this part. This is actually that old. It's from 1982. Well, you know, it's not new either. No. Most of us really remember 1982. I do. Love 1982. Yeah, let's go back there. And then this one, uh, it has some ribs in them. Extra bonus. <laughs> yeah, so it's going to go here. And then we have this one left. Love this. Per avion, which means airmail. Let's see, can we have this underneath here? I want a little bit of uh, the edge. Yeah, because I distressed it. 
So let's enjoy all the distressing. And this is going to go in the middle. Yes? Yes. Maybe a little bit more distressing. Let's find out. Guys, I'm going to glue this down just with glue stick. Yeah? Okay, I'll be right back. Everything is on. I do want to add a little bit more decoration. But I also need to keep in mind that this is going to be in the center. Lovely, with lovely decoration on them as well. Here is where I come in with the, I think the tape. I think I want to put some pieces of washi tape here and there. And maybe add some more labels and or uh, more poster stamps. Let's just see, what do we have here? This says um, salvaged, salvaged. Well, it has some numbers and some script and, and all sorts. So I'm just gonna, oh yes, lovely nails and then uh, new washi tape. Yes, well, that piece I absolutely adore. This is Tim Holtz washi tape, I like it. But this is um, actually the whole sort of design on them. That's okay. It's a lovely design. But it repeats a lot. I'm just going to take some pieces off and, you know, add here and there. So, hi Jackson. You cannot walk on the desk, love. No, no, no. Mom's busy. <laughs> you want to say hi? Jackson wants to say hi. Yeah. I love you too. Uh, for those you don't know, this is my cat Jackson, the love of my life. Yes, and he wants to go have a play with mama, <laughs> with his mama. Let's put this here. Something here on the top. Let's do another tape. Sure. Do you want to rip it? Oh yes, well, well now he now he thinks it's his. He's like, oh yeah, mom, I love it. Thank you. <laughs> um, what you want to do? I'm gonna do it like so. <laughs> yes, my cat. Um, and then the piece on the bottom here. And now he wants to lay on it. Of course he does. Love, you cannot you cannot lay on it. Yeah, some washi tape. Let me get some post-it stamps. I think I want to put uh, some add some extra post-it stamps and maybe a label or two. Yeah, and I might do some more decorating once this is on, as soon as I know uh, I want to put something underneath and stuff. So this is my big box of post-it stamps. These are the unsorted, just grab something stamps. Yeah, uh, as you can tell, I have a, a gazillion. Let's do, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's find out. What's in here? Um, oh, I love the orange one. Yeah. Now I'm going to take out my uh, um, art glitter glue. Mainly because this is just handier than putting it on something and then put on glue stick. So I'm just going to do it like so. Add a couple of poses stamps. Another orange one. Republic of Indonesia. I even have two of those. Um... Not too close together. Oh no, over here. We need one in the top corner there. Oh, that's a pretty one. Is it maybe too much? No. No, it's not. Ooh, this is uh, one from the United States. Ten cents. We hold these truths. Well, do you? You do. Okay. Yes, on the top. Maybe one more over here. This is too modern. We already had this one. Ooh, a lovely gymnast. An Olympic gymnast. Yes. Another German one. Lots of German envelopes on here. For some reason, uh, I have so many envelopes from Germany. It's ridiculous. No, I mean a lot, guys. A lot, a lot. I have this here and I need one more there. 
let's do um oh that's a very old one from the united kingdom is this george i'm gonna put that one on that's that's way too old <laughs> oh maybe the other ones are old as well another blue one oh yes they're lovely they're also lovely I'm gonna put on this one I might be putting down some poster stamps that are very, really valuable. I don't know, guys. Um, I am not a poster stamp collector, so I honestly don't know. I need one here. No, that's, that's too modern. Oh, from France. The lovely lady from France. She's on almost every post it stamp from uh, France. Me to do it like so yes <laughs> is that enough for now maybe let's see we have something interesting no there's too many poster stamp near each other okay i think that is the decorating for now yeah let's concentrate on on this big flap now uh, normally i'd sort of distress all around it but i'm going to cover the whole bit yeah so i am just going to distress uh well ink the edges a little bit and a little bit on the on the top and the bottom yeah in the same manner as i did with the folders so for the belly band yes i just inked all around it put some dots some splatters just on the edges because you might see something and I want to put this lovely airmail envelope on. Now, normally I take off the back, but I actually am going to make it into a secret pocket. Yeah. And I re look at the inside. Isn't that fantastic? Unfortunately, it's on the front. If it was on the back, I would surely take it apart. Uh, but I'm going to glue it on. It is the exact same width as the, as the belly band. So, yes to, yes to that. And I'm going to put this sort of small... I'm going to leave the tiniest edge on the top and on the bottom, guys. Just a tiny edge, you see? And then put this here. And then one of those that I am going to ink. This needs to look a little bit older. Because it's not. Uh, it's from 1947. Is that not old enough for you, love? Well, for me it is. But you might be from 1947 and you're upset now that I call it old. I'm sorry, if you're from 1947, I have news for you. You are no longer young. <laughs> but I love you, though. I can tell you that I love you. Yeah, if you still watch YouTube videos when you're from 1947. Um, okay, I'm going to glue it on. As is, as is, as is. I'm just going to use my glue stick. And on this one... I really want to round corners the belly band. I think it will look, uh, you know, better. So almost all the way to the bottom, but all the way to the edge. Now I have inked beforehand. You could also ink afterwards if you want to. Now let's put lots of glue on this fantastic, ooh, glued here. Oh no, that's just a, a small part. This is a lovely vintage uh, airmail envelopes. I I have a gazillion of those, but I need to start using them. And there we go. Almost to the top. Leaving just the tiniest bit here and there. And the last piece. There we go. Oops. Fortunately, this is glue stick, so I can probably... Let's try this again. Yeah. Good trick, love. Yes, fantastic. 
Oh, am I ruining, ruining my envelope? It'll be fine. Yeah. And the last piece. There you go. Yep. I will do some decorating after I put the flippy flappies on. Um, I am rounding corners before I put these on. Because I want to put this here. Just on the top and on the bottom. But before I do this, I'm going to round corners. Yep. I think it just looks nicer. Ouch, that was my finger. Does it need more glue? Tiny bit here and here. There you go. Now, I want to put these on. There's an ABC on here. I really want to, of course, show the airmail red and blue line. <laughs> yeah? Okay. Over to... Tool. One here and one here. Now I need some brads. You could also no, you cannot do eyelets, love. I'm gonna do some brads. Let me find some. I needed four of the same because I just want four of the same. Now I'm hoping these legs won't stick out. I'm just going to quickly check how... Oh, no, love. It's fine. It's just fine. It's just decorative, guys. One here and one here. Yes. Perfect. Let's do the bottom. There's a number here. Guess what? I want to show the number, of course. Oh, that's backwards. Let's do it like so. I need I actually needed my foam sort of pad underneath. Here's one. Careful. Do not poke yourself. Um <laughs> this is this side up. I'm like, did I do it right? Yes, you did. One and two. You don't need to do anything to the back because you're not going to see the back. Lovely belly band. Yes, with secret pocket. Secret pocket. Yes. Do you want some distressing? Little bit. It's this vintage photo. I'm just going to distress it a little bit. Great. Well, we're doing well, guys. We're doing well. Um, but now for the flappies. The flappies is like a project in itself. Let me try to explain what I want to do with those. I think it already looks really cool. Really, really cool. So uh, a belly band, guys, if, if you're a beginner, in case you don't know, a belly band is sort of a, a strip in the middle of a page, yes, uh, like so, or even like so. But if you're gonna do it like so, and put something behind it, everything will fall out, yeah? So uh, the belly band is gonna go like so. You tuck something in. So you need to glue it there and there. But later on, first we want to do all sorts to this belly band. Okay, so I have these two flappies. These were the flaps from the file folder, yeah, that we cut off in the beginning. Um, I used my three flap folders. If you have just the one flap folder, that is just fine. Just take a piece of cardstock and fold it, yeah. I'm going to use all the ridges. I'm going to fold it on the last one. On this last one. So I'm going to have a flappy here, yeah, and a flappy on the top, and a flappy here. Yeah? Yes. They will overlap, but that's sort of my plan. 
So, and then do lovely decorating on them. So you can flap them open here and here. So two flappies. What, about, what do I want to put on the flappies? Well, um, where are my die cuts? One of these specimen slides. However, yes, you punch them out. Yeah. And then you sort of fold them in. I'm not going to fold them in. I'm going to have them as a whole. So I want to put one of them on here. Probably like so. Yes. Have a lovely picture here of Gretchen. Not Gretchen. No, that's gone to A. Gone to B has his own wife. Where are they? Well, Gun I'm sorry, guys. He just sort of reminds me of Gone to B. Gone to B. Yes. And his lovely wife. I'm going to call her Adele. Yeah. So this is going to be in here. And the other one is going to be just Adele. I know it's a different lady. But just, you know, we're going to call her Adele. Yeah. And then this is actually going to be a small pocket. And do decorating. Also need a big tab. But first, guys, what I'm first going to do, I'm going to punch these out. Yes, I had some um, scraps of the backdrops left. So I'll use some scraps and put it to my die cut machine. And probably sort of place it so that you can see the 1835, something like it. So I'm going to make two of them. Yeah, I'm quickly going to do that. I'm going to show you. And then we need to distress and do stuff. And um, tabs, big tabs, also big tabs. But I need to find a piece of paper for this. Let me first do this. I found a lovely scrap. Yes, that was damaged. But that's okay, because adds character, I'm going to ink it. Uh, this is Mary Jane. So uh, apparently Gunter B married a Mary Jane. Yeah, now she's a Mary Jane. So I'm going to have her behind here. Um, you're going to see a little bit of this. So that is why I'm going to sort of make it a little bit darker on these sides. To cut off a little bit from the top. Yeah? Okay. Before I glue Mary Jane on, <laughs> I want to sort of uh, distress this. Does this work with the vintage photo that is on here? Well, sort of does. And I might add another stamp or or something and then for gunter and apparently mary jane oh i'm going to cut a lot off bye guys there you go piece of your sleeve piece of your hand piece from the top as well Oh, it's lovely, right? Needs to be a little browner. I'm going to age you guys up. Yes, better. Okay. Do you want inking before we do anything else? Let's let's try to do some some inking. I'm just gonna do it like so. Both of them. Okay, this is Mary Jane. Oh, do not look at the inside. That was so lovely. Yes. There we go, Mary Jane. also need to make tabs and 
my idea was to careful of put everything sort of in the in the frame. Well, there's more Mary Jane than Gunter on this picture, but that's okay. Honestly, it does really look like like Gunter, especially the older the older Gunter that we put on the front, right? Yeah. Lovely. Just lovely. Okay, now I want to make two big tabs. One here and one here. And I was thinking to make them from the, the ledger. However, the ledger is very old paper and I don't think it will work. So uh, I was going through my scrap box and then I found uh, one of my freebies. Yeah. And I think it, it will look lovely. So let's take out Moby Dick. Oh, guys, I love Moby Dick. <laughs> I really like these big tabs. They are just a statement. They're just a statement. And I know this is a, a little bit uh, more expensive than the small one. But still, if you compare it to the ones from We Are Memory Keepers, this one is still um, cheaper. Especially if you want the wheel tail tab from We Are Memory Keepers. That's over $100, guys. Yeah, well, this isn't. Let me see. I want this advertisement piece. It says... Freres also means brothers, right? It's brothers. Oh, look at the back. Well, you're going to use the back as well, love. You're going to use the back as well. What we want, do we want on here? Let's do the other edge. Yeah. And this was printed on... Um, 160 grams or 180 grams so it's way sturdier than of course the real um ledger paper oh, i love this one i love this one i'm gonna, lum, lum, lum. I'm gonna do this we're gonna grunge it up lovely i'll probably stamp something here because it has lots of and, uh, and on the back as well Lots of room for stamping. Now, I might, I might, I do not know for sure, guys. I might use something else from this die cut set because it has sort of these uh, words and numbers. So, I might do this. I might. Okay. First, what I'm going to do, a couple of things. Um, no, I'm not rounding corners. I'm going to round corners later. I am going to distress it, guys, with... Uh, I, I have not even cleaned this <laughs> in this whole project because I was like, I'm going to use it. I'm going to use it. going to use it. It's, yeah. I'm going to distress it and do this and splatter stamping on both of them. Yeah. And then we're going to do this decorating, this and maybe even this. So they are nice and distressed. Put some stamping on and such. And on the back side, I just, um, you know inked the edges because we're going to cover this guys i'm going to cover the inside with the beautiful ledger paper just all over it yeah and then what we're going to do is put them on so one is going to go on the top yep and one is going to go on the bottom they will overlap but i think that looks cute yeah then one is going to have oh mary jane on like so and one is going to have um, Mary Jane and Gunter B. Yes. And then there's going to be a tab on the top here. A tab on the top there. Well, that's not the top. That is the bottom. Yep. Uh, I want to do some decorating. But I also want to do some die cutting. So I have some of these. This is the from the chapter 3. Whatever. Uh, and it has these words and numbers like series and recorded and archive and number something something. So I took out a couple of them. Now, as you can already tell, um, this part seems a lot longer than this part because it's overlapping. So I have a long word. I'm going to use archive here, just here on the edge. And then a larger number over here. But because this is a little bit shorter, I've used a small word. Like filed, filed, yeah, and a number here. Yeah, I think it's going to look cool. I think so. First, let's put this on. 
just on the inside. I will, however, um, need to sort of cover this in some, with something because I also, of course, want to have brads through. Now, I've been thinking long and hard about this, guys, because if I glue this on, yes, put the brads through and then uh, glue the paper on, I cannot, and I, I don't think I can um, push it through my die cut machine with the brads in. So, yes, I've been, it's been a puzzle, but that's okay. That's okay. I just want, uh, well, this piece here. Ruler? Yes. Do you want a little bit of distressing on the edges? Don't think so. I don't think so. I'm going to keep this on the top as well because you can add a little something there. And then just rip another piece. That is crooked. I'm going to have it straight. Oh, that also looks nice. It says warehouse. Oh my God, I'm for sure going to use... Are you? No. <laughs> because I like the numbers way better. Let's have a glue page. Just normal glue stick. Do not look at the back. I'm going to do this with my eyes closed. <laughs> this is from a ledger book from, I believe, the early 50s. So it's not an antique. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Well, it does. It does matter which way I am gluing it up because it's sticking out. Because I don't want it to be upside down. Just going to trim it here. Yeah, that way up. So this is actually going to be this one. Now, for this one, this side up, and I'm going to glue on another piece. Probably this one. I am, however, going to trim it like so. So I'm going to cut it out and glue it on, guys. The right side up, yes, otherwise it would be upside down. Yeah? So, glue it on, inked all around it, punch this out. It looks amazing. I really like it. It's awesome. Look, oh, yeah. It says archive number something and file number something. Rounded corners. Yes. Now uh, we can assemble it. Before I put everything on, Mary Jane is going to go over here. And this is going to be a, a small sort of pocket. So I'm going to glue her here, here and here, but not here. So you can tuck something in if you want to. And this is going to go on the bottom. Uh, underneath, underneath, because it needs to be a pocket. Yes, like so. But I want to stamp something. So I think I want to stamp... Uh, well, collect here on the bottom. Or... Maybe this here? Yeah. I'm going to do that big stamp, stamp there. We need something underneath. Fallen leaves, guys, because, you know, because of fallen leaves. That's just the best color there is to stamp. I'm going to have it here. Yeah, looks amazing. Looks amazing. Does it need any more stamping? Maybe something there, but what? Uh, oh, a lovely row of numbers. Yes. There we go. So there's Mary Jane. Now for this one. This is going to go here. This is going to go there. Also underneath. Do we want a big field label thing on it? Sure. Let's have the big field label thing on it. Make sure it's on 
good yeah there you go otherwise it will fall off that's what happened what is happening to me at the moment stems falling off there yep and uh, another row of numbers on the bottom sure yep oh yeah it looks cool are we ready for gluing i think so i'm gonna start with the um, big tabs You could use glue stick, guys. This is just quicker and easier. Let's see. I'm going to line it up. This one. Yes. And the other one down there. And I have mini, mini, mini brads. They are also from Tim Holtz. That will fit through these small holes here. Was here, right? Yes. Oh, it will sort of overlap the numbers there. But well, that's okay. Yes. Let's do Mary Jane first. So, here's what I'm going to glue. Here, 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 here. Not here. So I'm going to keep my finger there. No, no glue there. Have it straight. Yes. There we go. I, I want to do some decorating, guys, but I don't know what yet. Same here, this is the pocket entrance, so glue here, here, here. And there we go. Oh, they already look lovely. Okay, first, brats. Let's do some brats first. I have baby brats. Baby brats. <laughs> yes, is that a thing? Well, they're tiny, tiny, tiny. So let's call them baby brats. I've taken out my felt pad. I'm just going to punch the holes in here. Now, yeah, the legs of the brats will show up on the other side. Um, so I need to do a little bit of decorating on the other side, but that's okay because, you know, I love to decorate, so why not? So, yeah, just punch them on. These are also by Tim Holtz, guys. Looks like, like miniature screws or something like it. Oh, it looks so cool. I like this so much. So yeah, it needs a little bit of decorating on the other side, but you know, we probably have a label or poster stamp or something. I'll find something. Yeah. So mini brats. I'm gonna put in the mini brats. Also want to do a little bit of decorating here and here. Probably do something with stamps. Now, for those of you who are wondering, the stamps that I've used are from Field Notes, my second favorite um, stamp set of all time. My favorite one is eccentric, of course. So I'm going to do all the brats and then let's have a look. Oh, it doesn't even look that bad. Uh, but I'll probably do some decorating here. Honestly, guys, the legs are so tiny. They don't even bother me that much. Uh, but I do want to have some stamps on here. I'm going to stamp this here. Because, yes. There's this big space here that you can sort of use. Collect. Is my head in frame? I'm sorry. 
And still I'm crooked. Yes. I just the the light is reflecting, so I cannot see what I'm doing. But it's okay. It's quite all right. And then the specimen one here. Even though it's not a specimen. Yep. Two lovely stamps. I'm going to add a label. I have my box of labels out. I'm not going to add anything here, guys, because this is the, the flap that we're going to glue. So no decorating on this. Big box of labels. I think I want to have a sort of a statement piece on. So I'm thinking to go through these. Len Lancashire Insurance Company. Could put it over one brad if I wanted to. Oh, that looks actually pretty good. How about another one? Or in the middle of all the brads. Oh, that's also nice. Oh, that's actually cool. It almost looks like it's, it's been held together with the brads. Bonus. <laughs> Bonus. Can we sort of fix this to go more straight up? We can. This one as well. Yes. Yes. A little bit of inking. Manual ornaments. Okay. We are actually utilizing the brads. Could have a look if we could. No, I'm not going to. I do not want to cover this up. No, 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 no. Okay. So a little bit underneath here and here. So I'm going to move it back up. Oh yeah, that looks pretty cool. It's almost like it's being held down by the brass legs. Mm, this one. Oh yeah, I was going to cover this one up. Why not do a, a skinny one? I think this is actually a good one. Yeah. So I'm going to grunge it up a tiny bit. Will it work? It sure will. It will need a little bit of help because the brats are underneath, but it's going to be fine. See the white is showing. We don't want any white showing. No, that's that's perfect. Yep. Is that it? I think that's it. Are we ready to attach them? Let me have a look. I think I want to do the rest of the decorating before I glue them on. Otherwise, everything is really, really bumpy, remember? So I have uh, a couple of labels. These are all from Michelle at the Junk Journal Studio. Different ones. I have a box full. Love them. Probably uh, labels days gone by or from her new uh, autumn kit. I have not even started on the winter one. Yes. This is going to go here and then a small one. Also added this stamp and this stamp because there was space. So why not? Is this upside down? No, this is the right setup. There we go. There was no more space for stamping on this one. So I'm just going to add this mini, mini, mini stamp uh, label, label here. Instead of a number, I'm going to do this. Because it just looks cute and a round one. Mm. 
Yeah. Cool. Where's my belly band thing? It is here. It is here. So this one is going to go on the top like so. Yeah. So we basically need to glue here. Add glue here. They will not uh, lay flat. But that's okay, guys, because it's going to be um, within the file folder thingy. So it's okay. They won't fall open or anything. Here we go. Going to press hard. Yes. Oh, lovely. And then this one on the bottom. They won't have any other function than being cute. <laughs> it's not like you could make this into a journal spot. Yeah, put some blank uh, paper there or add another pocket. Yeah. There's a tiny little pocket here. Yeah, let's see. I have these two scraps left. So you could put a tiny little card in if you wanted to. Well, I actually want to. <laughs> Just going to put these in. These are the frames in the middle. So why not, why not use them? But you stamped something lovely. I know. But that's okay. So that you can see. Oh, the packs. The packs. I'm going to put it on this. <laughs> the other side. Oh, yeah. That's cool. Oh, for sure. Look. Yeah. I'll ink them on this side then. Yes, I'll ink them on this side. Just tiny little cards. Why not? Because of cute. Yeah? Oh, love it. Now, let's glue the whole thing on the project. It looks fantastic. I love it. It's so much. There's so much going on. Again, I'm using um, art glitter glue for this. Use glue tape or your glue gun if you want to. I'm just going to glue the tops. Now, there are brats here, so I'm hoping it'll sort of work. probably will if not i'm going to take uh, the glue gun ga out and it'll work then for sure okay not upside down that'll be lovely okay this is going to be tricky because it's bumpy everywhere <laughs> it's bumpy everywhere so here's one Do I have my clamps? I do. Put on some clamps. Do I have any more? Yes. Just to sort of try to hold it down. But I think it worked. Guys, I'm going to let it dry and let's have a look at the end result. Turned out so nice. Yeah, guys, I put a paper clip here. I have like a very old rusty paper clip. Didn't rust it myself. It was already, you know, in its natural sort of form um, to hold them down just a little bit for photographing and such. But you can just leave, leave them flapping because it's going to be closed up. Yeah, so no problem. No problem. Let's look at it as a whole. It's a lot. I know, but I really like it. I really like it. And I think it goes very well next to the, the one with the envelope. Where is it? Oops. Yeah. See? These two are going to sort of be next to each other. So they sort of balance out really well. Oh, I just love it. Just love it. Yeah. I'm going to take off the paper clip. And you just, it's a, it's a belly band, guys. So you can have uh, papers underneath or more envelopes or what have you. And you flap them open like so and like so. 
And you have another secret pocket here because I left the envelope open. And we're just lovely decorating. You could, you know, do a little bit of journaling here if you wanted to. Yeah. That's it. That's it. Oh my gosh, guys. It was a lot of work. Well, not per se this one, but the whole sort of folio thingy. Now I need to go think about the closure. That's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I really enjoyed myself with the collaging and, you know, the story about Gunter and Mary Jane. Yeah, I'll be back again this Wednesday. Wednesday, what we're going to do, we're going to put everything together and add a closure on the top. So let's see what I can come up with. Until then, bye guys.